Hola folks, how's it going? And today I'm taking you through, guess what? Well, you've read the title, Reloom. Okay, so what on earth is this, you might wonder? Well, this is an AI whose main objective, let's say for example, uh, the, the guys who behind Reloom, th their, their vision and their objective is that they want to give uh, us, you know, a solution and that is like a no code uh, or you can say AI web designer or you can say website builder so basically they want to give us a no code required website builder okay so kind of like that correct me if I'm like being too too dumb and cheesy with the description but basically it's an AI tool that helps you design and build websites faster and don't rec I'm sorry that was a hiccup okay Okay, so it's basically a AI tool, an AI tool that helps you build websites and design them with A's because it's it's an AI, right? It's helping you. So over here, as you can see, I'm in Reloom right now, and it says sitemap project. Okay, prompt, sorry, sitemap prompt. Primary sitemap. So describe the company, for example. Describe what kind of a website you're looking for. Okay, so I want to develop. I'm going to give him a prompt explaining to him what my main objective is. So that he understands. Well, I'm, I'm saying as if the AI is a male. I don't know who he is, who it is. So it is a proper, uh, appropriate word, I guess. Okay, so I want to develop a school website for students. Now, number of pages. Uh, let's stick to 10 to 15, or 5 to 10 seems fine, right? School page typically has 5 to 10 pages. Definitely language is going to be English, so that we can read it. And uh, I'm going to click on Generate Sitemap, and boom, it's going to start working. And look at that. The good boy has come up with some great, great ideas. Hold on a second, let it do the work completely. So, it's given me a sitemap, look at this. It's so cool. It is helping me understand how I can make an effective website, website for school children or uh, st for school students, okay? So, look at this. There is going to be a navigation bar, hero header section, about section, okay? We can change the order. We can change the names, we can definitely configure it to our preferences. And there's going to be stats section, services section, listen to subscribe essential services offered, such as counseling, extracurricular activities, the student, and student support services. Okay, there's going to be stats section, team section, CDA section, testimonial section, CDA... Okay, there, these are two, same ones, okay. FAQ section, footer, okay, and then it's telling me the other bunch of stuff that I need. Okay, and now it's giving me another sort of like footer map you can say it's telling me how to map my website so it's it seems good it's actually really good look at this i can add sections here i can generate content over here for about us okay look at this now it's telling me how i can structure my about us page how i can structure my academics page i mean it's generating content for me so it's really simple and useful you know if you're like someone who has no um uh, in-depth experience of making websites and you're just stuck maybe you're, you're doing a school project or maybe you're just trying to get started and get your get your hands on on websites to get to know how do you make them and how do you design them and how you structure a website effectively then this definitely is a really good tool to help you understand and you know get an insight into how you can do it because see i just give it a prompt that i want a website for school students i need five to ten pages language was english and I just told told the AI tool to generate a map for me, and it gave me the site map, which is really helpful. If you have a good site map in hand, developing the website is not as hard as without knowing what to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't ask me in the comments, I'm going to tell you what I mean. Okay, or maybe just try listening to me one or two, once or twice again. You're definitely going to get my point. Look at this. Now I have a proper content generated site map with me. Uh, the tool has told me what to do, how to do it, and what else to add into those things. And um, uh, it's basically given me a good, decent sitemap. I know how to... Now I know, okay, I have to make a website. This is possibly what I can include. I, I, can, I can refine this map. I can add something more relevant. But it has given me a general, uh, I would say, an overview. It's given me a gist of how or what kind of a website I can develop. So it's definitely really useful. Look at this. I can I can play with it. This is going to be the home section, and it's telling me how I can, you know, have different things in my home section. And uh, look at this. Let's check this out. Wireframe. So look at this. Create global section, feature section. You also have layout templates, or you can say layout themes, etc. So the previous tab was the sitemap, and now this is the wireframe. 
and uh, look at this. So this is how AI is really revolutionizing the world. You see how cool how every other day we get to hear about new tools, cool tools. Now I'm not I don't mean that Realm is like a new thing in town. Obviously it has been around for a while, but the idea is what I'm trying to say is AI is bringing us with new and new stuff. It's helping us streamline a lot of things, but at the same time. I have some personal issues with AI because, you know, it's replacing a lot of people's jobs. That's really, that's really bad. And um, that's the downside of AI. So I don't, I don't like it in that way. But other than that, it's, its positives are really high. It's helping us, you know, do lots of cool things, expedite them, and uh, do things we might not have been able to do as individuals previously. So it's really good. And it's also, you know, making our work process efficient. You see how different tools like Chat, GBT, Bard, and good guys like them, they're helping us so much. So AI is definitely a good breakthrough uh, by a, a few, of mankind, but it has to be controlled definitely. So I can add in buttons, I can add in forms, I can add in, uh, I can replace components, I can add in more sections, and uh, I can add in uh, like sections of different layouts depending on what I need. I can showcase media, I can showcase videos, images, and you name it. It's going to be a proper website, of course. So I can make it interactive as well. So, but definitely this, right now we're just making a, a cool map of how we can sort of like structure our, our page or website. And uh, it's doing a good job. So it's definitely worth it. So I'm sure if you would want to get started with web development, or you're probably going to get st you're, you're probably starting to develop a website, you can definitely check out Realloom and get a sitemap idea if you like it. Go with it if you want to refine it. Definitely, you can you can have your own. Uh, you can add a touch of or a flair of creativity of your own. That's that's no worries at all. So regenerate copy, replace component. Okay, columns is going to be two. Uh, style is going to be card or normal. So, text alignment, okay, we've got a bunch of options telling us, asking us how do we need to sort of like uh, display things. This is going to be the FAQ section. Okay, answer common questions that prospective students and parents may have. It's definitely something that comes in handy, you know. Okay, so install Figma plugin. To export sitemaps or wireframes to Figma, you'll need to install the Realm library uh, I think the the st st stigma that's the name it's the plugin so you can definitely do it it's easy and uh, you can export your sitemaps and your wireframes that's gonna help you in your web development look at this add sitemap okay so adding to canvas okay my projects team projects hold in second there we go that's our that's our sitemap or you can say Look at this. This guy's out of place. What's wrong with it? Okay, rectangle. Hmm. This is this is basically our uh, site map on the uh, like on, on the main screen. It's the site map visually presented. On the left hand side, we have like this this drop down structure of our website. It's like a breakdown, telling us how our website is going to be structured. And on the right, towards the right, we have these uh, formatting options, changing colors. Fonts, sizes, alignment, effects, and, you know, you name it. All sorts of formatting options helping us make our sitemap more attractive and relevant to follow a certain kind of a theme, palette, or whatever. So, show prototype settings. Scroll with parent. Boom. Position, sticky, stop at top edge. Stop with parent. Scroll with parent. Okay, so overflow is no, scroll, it's no scrolling. Now, creating a connection, running your prototype. Okay, boom, let's try this, don't you think? Okay, so this is how you generally use Reloom. It's really useful, and I hope you liked the video, and if you did, come on. Now do me a favor, I'm, I'm, I'm actually waiting for you, I'm going to count till 5. You've got to go, you've got to go and hit the like and subscribe buttons, because come on, why not? Okay, boom, let, there we go, okay, 1, 2, 3, go, I'm counting till 5 now. 1, 2, Three, four, five. It was a little quicker, and I hope you did it. See you next time.